In this module, you will learn that properties of materials change kapag nilagay sila sa iba't ibang temperatures, mainit o malamig. Materials may change its state o estado and may also change its composition, kabuuan, when heated or cooled. But before we start, let's define these words o aralin muna natin ang mga ibig sabihin ng mga salitang ito para mabilis nating maintindihan ang ating lesson. Number one is temperature. When we say temperature, it is the hotness or coldness of air. Kapag sinabi namang hot, sa Tagalog nun ay mainit or we have high temperature. When we say cold, in Tagalog, yun ay malamig. Meron tayong low temperature. Let's have an activity. I want you to study the picture and then later on, tatanong si sir kung ano yung mga observations na inyong nakita. Number one, a butter placed on hot temperature. Remember that a butter is a solid material. Number two, a lighted candle. Remember that a candle is a solid material. Number three, a chocolate place on hot temperature. Remember that a chocolate is a solid material. Number four, a crayon placed on hot temperature. Remember that a crayon is a solid material. Based on the pictures that I've shown you, and the videos that I've inserted here in our presentation, what happened to each material? Ano ang nangyari sa bawat material? Are there changes in the appearance of the materials? Merong bang nagbago sa appearance ng materials? So I want you to comment dyan sa ating comment section kung ano yung mga changes or kung ano yung mga observations na nakita nyo. I'll give you one minute to type your answer on the comment section. So the answer is, the solid material in the picture melts or it turns to liquid when placed on hot temperature. Pareho ba tayo ng sagot? Kung pareho tayo ng sagot, palakpakan nyo naman ang sarili nyo. Very good. Points to remember, ito yung mga dapat nating tandaan. When materials are heated or nainitan, they change in size, shape, form, and texture. 
kasi merong increase ng temperature or pagtaas ng temperature. When heated, kapag nainitan, they change from solid to liquid. Magbabago ang materials mula solid papuntang liquid or natunaw. The materials melt. When cooled, pag nalamiga na sila, they change from liquid to solid. Magbabago ang materials mula liquid to solid. The materials may return to its solid form again if there is a decrease in temperature or kapag nabawasan yung high temperature na ibinibigay mo dun sa material. Ang isa pang example nito ay ang ice or yellow. Kapag nainitan ng yellow, na alam naman nating isang solid material, matutunaw ito at magiging tubig. Pero, kapag binalik mo ito sa refrigerator na may malamig na temperature, magiging solid ulit ito. So, that's all for this week. I hope nakatulong ulit itong video na ginawa ni Sir para mapadali yung pagsasagot ninyo ng inyong module. Thank you and have a great day everyone.